Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Yeah, it's like this folks, it really is. Every one of us that's been out here on YouTube that's done anything to try to help humanity in our country. There's many of them that have done great jobs. in trying to bring the facts of things that are happening. It's a great thing. But I'm going to tell y'all something. All of you that watch me, ones of you that ignore me, if you see the video, That time's come and gone. We got problems, folks. We got big problems. Now, let's see. The United States Corporation, ISIS. Not ISIL, ISIS. They continue to call it ISIS. And Obama continues to call it ISIL. Two years ago, or when they first started talking about it, I don't remember exactly. It's on my website. Called ISIS. And actually how I come across that was I was looking for some ISIS symbols. And that was one that popped up. And I just did a background on it. Come to find out, about two, maybe three months after I put that web page up, and it started getting a little popular, they changed their name to ISI. They took the other S off, or something to that effect. That's on the web page, too. You can see the screenshots of what it was. And you can see the screenshot of what it is today. Because there's a link back to the page. Damn sure is. Am I why is that why I'm really in here talking to y'all? France. All of those people over there that died. The elite <clears throat> we've been telling y'all for a long time a lot of us that Illuminati Freemasons on and on and on and on do certain things now in every one of those groups are you listening there's good people that doesn't know. It's like a pyramid. One more time. Quit tootie. You may hear my pig. She's wanting to play with the camera now. But my point of it is, is this. They set up everything. The ones of you that are old enough, remember the pyramid schemes that used to come out back in the day like Amway and <clears throat> all of that stuff it was built on a pyramid scheme you get three people to involved and you know it kind of trickles down you know the guy at the top made the money the ones below him until their pyramid got made the guy at the top made money. But the guy at the top, the one that started the pyramid, each one starts their own pyramid. You get me? Now, that's just like the Illuminati. That's just like the Freemasons. All the secret societies that are out there. 
the Bilderberger Group, all of them. <coughs> they all have their thing. I'm a little chilled right now, and some kind of having a hard time talking without shaking here. But anyway, the fact of the matter is, is we the people know that. The ones that are out here doing this know that. What we have to do is make sure that the people that don't see and only watch TV hear us. We got to come up with a way to get this information out. We do. And how are we going to do that? I don't have a damn clue. But there's a lot of you out there that are smarter than I am. And a lot of you out there just got bigger channels than I do. <laughs> I've been around a long time. But people don't want to hear what I got to say. Sometimes. They do. They hear it and they go on. I want to be free. Do you? Does all of y'all want to be free? I do. I will to be quite honest with you. <clears throat> Sorry. I, I'm literally got the chills here. I don't know why. Been fine all day. Now I got the chills. It's a little cool outside, but it's not cold. It's getting to my ass right now. Point of it is, is this. Since Obama and since Henry Kissinger come out and told us that Obama was the closer to the New World Order. Well, what is the New World Order? Yet again, another secret society started out that way. Bilderbergers, Bohemian uh, Grove, who the hell fucking knows who they are? Who's, which groups behind it? The Masons, the Illuminati, are they all the same? They just got a whole bunch of different names to confuse everyone. The metrics. Let's see. Metrics, pyramid, same thing. Have they created their own pyramid scheme with the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the Bilderbergers, the whole nine yards? Have they? It's starting to look that way. There's people I ain't never seen on YouTube before saying they're scared to come out of their own house. Mm. And the folks, this leads me back into something else as well while we're talking. You know, Donald Trump come out and forced Obama to put up a birth certificate. Not just proof of a birth certificate, but an actual birth certificate. Well, come to find out that it's got Kearney in it. And at the bottom of the page, in the notary's name, if you blow up the name, blow it up, big enough to see it. In the A of Alvin, you'll see a smiley face. You know, like a draw out, you know, a little round circle with a little lip and an eyeball. 
and over the eye, you'll see a heart. I ain't said nothing about that in a long time because really it's too damn late. But folks, God almighty damn. Whew. Sorry folks, I, I can't help it. I don't know what the hell's going on. But, uh, it's a damn shame that that man's still in office. Now, we got Obama, we got Putin. Now, there's a story out there that Putin's ex-wife said that Putin had been dead for a very long time. And the man that we see is a body double. A very good likeness of the same man. Is it him? Is it not him? I don't know. But aren't y'all tired of this bullshit every day? Every day if someone got killed, someone got hurt, someone got murdered. ISIS is everywhere. Putin said that in a couple of statements behind him behind himself stated that the United States was behind ISIS to start with. Is it true? I can only report what I found and what I seen. Can I say it's a fact? No. You know why I can't say it's a fact? And unless I see it with my own damn eyes, I see the man from that place, and he's over there, and I see it with my own eyes, and I watch him blow somebody away, then I know it's real. And I mean, I see the man dead. I don't mean makeup. I mean dead. Paris. Did people die over there? We all know that the Illuminati and all the rest of them, they only want five, 500 million people in the world. And we got like seven billion, so seven or eight billion, 100 billion. Hell, I don't remember. Right now, I'm shaking too damn bad to care. If I'd known I was going to do this, I wouldn't have made the video, but then started now, I can't stop. But folks, it is entirely up to you what you want in life. I mean that shit. Are we going to continue to play these damn games that they want us to play? I mean that. They want us to push their information. They want us to get out here and scream bloody murder and get everybody pumped up so the mainstream media just does a wonderful job of doing exactly the same thing. Last night, that's all it was on the damn TV. That's all you could find on TV was that shit. That's all. Special report, special report, special. Just like 9-11. We all know now, and I mean all, you can ask anybody on the street almost anymore if 9-11 was a false flag, and they'll tell you, yeah. They know that jet planes, a jet plane did not run into that building. <coughs> and burn it down and make it collapse. They also know that fires don't destroy steel, they don't get hot enough, not even jet fuel, which is nothing more than diesel fuel or kerosene. Same fuel, just more refined. 
Do you understand? Same fuels, just more refined. Jet fuel is a little cleaner. They clean it so the injectors don't get dirty so the plane comes down. They make damn sure that it's been filtered very, very good and still has a bunch of filters. When those aluminum, when them planes run into those steel buildings, it was like an aluminum can, you know, you take an aluminum can and you put it in your hand like this. And if you're strong enough, you can just take it and get like that, right? And if you're not strong enough, if you take it and hold it in one hand like this and then you hit it with your other one, or you take your foot and just put on it, it'll collapse straight down on it. Don't care how fast you do it. You can do it super fast, super slow, it doesn't matter. You can take your foot and move quite quick from you know this far boom like that now that can collapsed now I know that that can's thin okay take into consideration of the size of the building and the thickness of the aluminum plane now, the wing span on that aluminum on that plane is probably at the thickest 090, which is just about that thick. Okay. Oh, what holds it together? Well, they got a lot of ribs going. You know, the metals this way, the wings like this. Inside there, underneath, they got little ribs made out of the same thinness or maybe even thinner to make it light which makes the outside stronger but it's still that aluminum can that you can squash do you understand when those planes hit those buildings those wings went just like this the fuel is where folks the fuel is in the wings you know the big poof that you saw what do you think that was that was all of the diesel fuel that was supposed to be in the wings burned outside of the building very little went inside what was all the explosions that we heard? Mm -hmm. Detonations. Those buildings come straight down. They didn't fall over at the top like this. They didn't do that. They come poop straight down. Three buildings. The Twin Towers and Building 7. All the same way. Pssh. We had, we we had nothing else to do but pull it. Remember, famous word of a detonation. Pull it. What does that have to do with Paris, right? Really? Hmm. People died on 9/11, didn't they? A lot of people. A lot of people died on the aftermath as well from all of the asbestos and all of the horse shit that they used that gave people cancer and they died it's trying to help people. Remember? For what? For what? Oh, let me put this also in perspective for you, too. Who was president at the time? George Bush. Quit, Tootie. Who is running for president now? You sure you want that? And who helped all that? The Clintons? Damn. 
Hillary wants to be the President of the United States. Bill Clinton wants to be the head of the UN so they'll be the strongest family in the world. Even more powerful than the Queen. Which they demoted her a long time ago. She ain't got no power anyhow. But they would, wouldn't they? So you want that? Really? Have you, are you awake yet? Got a bombing going off everywhere. Where's it going to happen next? In Pittsburgh? New York? Miami? Jacksonville? Tampa Bay? Dallas, Texas? What's next? What's next? Whose town's next? Who's listening yet? How many times do we have to tell you? How many times do you have to hear it come out of somebody's mouth that the world is not what you think it fucking is? How many times you gotta hear it? How many times? How many times are you gonna say, oh, that ain't real? Well, we know it ain't real. Oh, well, we can't tell people that because it's real. It ain't real, this is real. Really? Do you know for a fucking fact that anything that anybody ever put out on YouTube is real or fake compared to what the mainstream media did? I'm being honest. The ones that see through that shit. Do you think that we're in here doing this because we want to? Do you think I'm doing this because I want to do this? Do you think I'm in here to do this because that's what I want to do? I want to I want to sit here in front of a camera and make a fool out of myself. Make myself look like a fool to people that ain't awake. Are you serious right now? They ain't never met me, don't know me, don't don't know nothing about me. Including some of y'all that do know me, that partially know me. This watch me for a while. Do you really think I want to do this? No, I don't. You know what I want to do? I want to be just like everybody else. I want to be free. I want to be able to watch football. I want to have a drink if I want to, take a drink every now and then. I want to sit down in front of the TV and watch TV and have a good life. I like to make a little money that that ain't being stole from me from too much taxes and homeowners associations and bullshit that you shouldn't have to pay for, like a damn... Ticket for uh, a, a ticket for seat belts. For stupid shit like that. It's completely unconstitutional. Just so they can make money. And they keep going up. Oh, they say it's to uh, make everybody abide by the law. No, it ain't. When everybody starts doing it completely the way they want to, they will make it higher. You know why? Because they're not making enough motherfucking money. The fucking greed. The fucking greed. Sorry I'm cussing, but hey, that's just, if you don't hear it that way, you just don't get it. The cost of living. Really? Do you know how much a car cost in 1973? I know for a fact because my dad bought one. He paid $4,300. Tax, tag, and title out the door. Paid for. Right then and there. Do you know how much you... How many people walk around with uh, $47,000 to buy a vehicle? Just like that one now. How many people can even come up with that kind of money to buy a damn vehicle? It's a damn shame when in this town, where I live right now, right now, you can buy houses, not all everywhere, 
but in some neighborhoods you can buy houses for four thousand and five thousand dollars and couldn't touch them before Obama went into office for less than forty thousand and that ain't no fucking shit no shit and he's done a wonderful job right are you fucking kidding me And do you think it's getting better? Really? Is that why no one's paying attention anymore? Really? You think what just happened is going to help your economy? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're going to be lucky if you got a job next year. That's straight up. Because the two big boys are playing their little game back and forth, and China, the third, the three big boys playing their little game back and forth. And they're in amongst the middle of all of them. They're all going to give you the new world order because they're all three on the same side, just not on your side. They want to make you think they're against each other. But they're all on the same side trying to make a new world order so they can control the fucking world and rob you for every dime you make. Wouldn't it be a shame if you found out that China was really the way the world was going to be? Where you work for nothing? Let's see, where did the head of the UN move to when he was the head? I don't know if he still is or not. Didn't he move hmm, to China? I think he did. Had a whole street that was guarded by the military for him. <clears throat> Ain't that a damn shame? Now, do you really think that these son of a bitches are on your side? I I'm being serious and straight up. Do you think they're on your side? They ain't on your side. They could give a fucking less about you. And that's a fact. All they want is more greed. So, the more they make, the more they can steal from you, the happier they are. I mean that. Until you're working for nothing. That's straight up. From my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government for your freedoms. I damn well mean that shit. If we don't start doing something and get up off our lazy motherfucking asses, you might as well hold your hand out. Let the good Lord try to bless you. But he's only going to help you if you help yourself a little. You got to help yourself some. Why do you think there's been so many wars? If I'm wrong, from my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government. I said it again. I damn well mean it. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a good day now here.